The Watershed Center in Traverse City is sharing some good news. Trees provide protection from too much stormwater, cool urban areas, and reduce pollution, all at the same time. A lot of our projects at the Watershed Center focus on stormwater and how to manage stormwater. And we've seen a lot more storms lately, a lot more frequency of storms, a lot more rain that's coming with those storms. And with that, we have to respond in a different way. One of the ways that we've identified is really through looking at this, this concept of trees and tree canopy and really making communities be more resistant, more resilient to those changes that are happening. Because tree canopy plays such an important role in reducing stormwater runoff, the Watershed Center has joined with the Ann Arbor-based nonprofit called Relief to help five communities strategically expand their tree canopy. Part of the work in those communities is to look at ways for those munip municipalities to prioritize trees in their inv urban environment and understand the importance of a tree canopy and how it protects water quality even in small urban areas. Relief Director Melinda Jones says each tree provides a substantial community benefit. A fully mature tree absorbs at least 100 gallons of stormwater during a regular rainfall incident. That's done through the leaves and the bark. It also uh, delays the uh, runoff onto the ground, the roots absorb it, so it's a savings to the community. Uh, as far as stormwater retention costs. Forrester Lee Mueller is a project consultant. He works with Relief and the Watershed Center to help identify priority planting areas. Our team did what's called a community tree canopy assessment or an urban tree canopy assessment. How that starts is we take satellite imagery and feed it into GIS software, and that software helps categorize where there is trees, where there's impervious surfaces, where there's maybe low-lying vegetation or soil or water, and it classifies all of those land cover. Based on that, we can start to do some analyses on, you know, where are the trees, where aren't the trees, uh, how is tree cover different across different street segments. We can also then go a step further and look at where there aren't trees and consider those areas potential planting locations. We can then take what's called a prioritized planting analysis. And through that analysis, we look at the, the level of slope, uh, the permeability of the soil, how quickly water infiltrates through that soil, uh, maybe how close trees are or these potential planting areas are to pavement, and we can prioritize planting locations. We can point to, say, that this area near pavement, um, this area of high slope, might be a higher priority location to plant trees as that tree will help capture more stormwater. A lot of times when people think about the benefits of trees, they're thinking mostly of what forests and things look like. But it's really important to have a really good canopy in your urban environments as well. And that's why the Watershed Center is working with the City of Traverse City and other partners to form a task force to help look at some of the issues that come up when you're trying to do a canopy in an urban environment and how difficult it can be to protect trees in that situation. We have many discussions about how do we encourage property owners, do we have ordinances for trees on private property, and we may get to that in years to come, but to me the best thing we can do is lead by example. So let's do the best we can with the trees in the public right-of-way, in public parks, on public parcels of land, acknowledge that we need to be planting and maintaining a healthy, diverse uh, overstory canopy trees now. So regardless of whether or not a tree is on public or private property, it offers a public good. And it's important to think about that as we consider an entire community forest. However, our community forests are under a variety of threats, everything from climate change to invasive species. And as, as these threats descend on, on our community forests, we have to care for them to try to maximize those benefits and protect the benefits we receive in the long term. If we want to have a healthy community forest, it's going to require care. Uh, as we see increasing and, and more storm events, we're going to have to plant more trees. We're going to have to provide the pruning those trees require to ensure that they remain healthy. As we see invasive pests like emerald ash borer, beech bark disease, trees are going to require care if we, as the public, decide that trees are important to the fabric of our communities. It will continue to be a discussion for years to come. I mean, the tree canopy, it's not you do it once and you're done. 
and that's maybe part of why we're in the situation we are right now. It's previous generations did such a good job and we could kind of forget about it for quite a long time, but we need to be thinking about it and acting on it again, but not just for a year, not just for two years. We need to act on it for decades to come.